Thank you, Madam Speaker. <clears throat> Madam Speaker, I thank the Honorable Nimatawalu for his question, and I think it's good information for this House. Madam Speaker, by way of background, the Consumer Credit Act was, uh, was put in place to provide for the rights and responsibilities of both the, for the consumers and credit providers, uh, and it sets a guideline uh, which lenders and borrowers have to adhere to. Uh, furthermore, the subsequent amendments to the Act and its regulations set out compliance requirements for the drafting ex and execution of credit documents, as well as the requirements for a full and clear disclosure of terms and conditions, etc., uh, for the consumers at the time of signing and execution, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, in 2012, a study was under undertaken, and there were um, some gaps recognized in the Act that required to be fixed in order to provide the needed protection to consumers of credit. Now, Madam Speaker, my ministry and uh, agencies such as the Consumer Council of Fiji uh, have been receiving complaints from consumers re with regards to credit agreements. This has led, Madam Speaker, to the Ministry undertaking a comprehensive review of the Act with the assistance of the Pacific Financial Inclusion Program of the United Nations Development Program. Madam Speaker, uh, the main objective, yes, is to review and to develop a revised law that will address consumer protection and is also put in, uh, would also put in place provisions to discipline the actual credit providers, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Supplementary question. I give the floor to the Honorable Bande. Thank you, Madam Chair. I would like to ask the Minister how many of those complaints have been successfully prosecuted by the Ministry? Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Madam Speaker, that is a question statistical in nature. If the Honourable Member requires, he can write to me, I'll give it to him. Thank you. I give the floor to the Honourable Arik Maharaj. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, can the Minister provide justification for the review of the Consumer Credit Act? Thank you, Honourable Minister. You finished? Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the following factors actually provide a justification for the review. And the Consumer Credit Act is, uh, a, is not being enforced by any authority apart from the, uh, currently the Department of National Trade Measurement and Standards, which is responsible for enforcement. The current Act, Madam Speaker, is very technical and needs to be simplified and reworded for ease of understanding and application with the financial sector becoming more and more uh, important and consumers becoming more vulnerable, uh, the nature and type of disclosure, Madam Speaker, needs improvement. And the methodology for the, uh, for the calculation of interest rates, fees and charges also need to be simplified and clearly laid out in the Act. And there's also a lack of enforcement, poor consumer awareness of rights, uh, onus on consumers to prove the breach of rights, inaccessible and costly redress mechanism. Madam Speaker, this is, these are the things that will actually require uh, in order to it justifies the review of the Act, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Thank you. I give the floor to the Honourable Nikon Oikola. Can the Honourable Minister elaborate on what type of uh, complaints are these and what can we expect to see in resolving this? Thank you, Honourable Minister. Madam Speaker, I think I just answered part of that, but I'll explain it to you. Just a complaint. It's, it's, what are these complaints? The, the co Madam Speaker, complaints, this is to do with, uh, uh, the complaints are usually, most of the time with respect to disclosure and non-disclosure, with respect to uh, the methodology and the use of calculation of interest rates, etc. And, and the, every single complaint is dealt with properly by the Consumer Council. So the, the, the complaints vary from one side of the uh, curtain to the other. So there's quite a number. If I stood here and listed them, I'd, I'd stand there for half a day. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And for the last question, I give the floor to the Honourable Singh. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Supplementary question. Uh, most of the complaints regarding Consumer Protection, Consumer Credit Act, is referred to the Consumer Council of Fiji. Uh, may I ask the Minister whether the Consumer Council of Fiji is regulated? And if it's not, why not? Why not? Can you repeat the question, please, Honourable The Consumer Honorable. Council of Fiji, if the Minister, whether it's regulated? And if not, why not? Of course it is. It's, it's created by statute. Does that answer your question? Thank you. 